It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Birds and the Bucks, and it's coming up next. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Certainly happy to have you along. Chase McLaughlin has it on the tee, and off we go here in Tampa. And he returns this to the 22. Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. This short throw caught by Goddard. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second down and six now from the 26. On the option left, it's Hurts. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. First carry for DeAndre Swift. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Here's Hurts to throw. Zaki is here hauling it in. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Throwing his Hurts. Complete to Zacchaeus. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 35, here's second down at a yard. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 22-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Firing 
quickly here, and that's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Hurts. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Credit the sack to Vita Vea. We'll talk about a rhythm breaker right there. They've been moving the ball well. Drive it started beautifully. That one's going to hurt. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles. Tough spot here. Third and long. They'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Bucks now to take over for the first time. And bringing them out is the top pick in the 2018 draft, fiery competitor from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. A first carry for Rashad White, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Here comes third in the length of the football. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. And boy, Mike Evans, he's in some discomfort. So we're going to stop play here as they pay attention to him. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. First and ten, Mayfield. But it's caught, Tompkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Throwing, Mayfield. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Mayfield to throw it. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. From the gun, Mayfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, and I guarantee you that at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And they won't try and pooch it. It's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Hurts sets up to throw it. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 10 yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forcing a completion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll look to throw again. He'll drop this one off to Swift. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. 
four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? A tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Back to throw again. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. So Hertz is off and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash, this from 33. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will make it 6 to nothing. So the scores on their first two possessions, but 6 nothing. so field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. So a couple of field goals now. 6-0 our score as the kick's away. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And quick throw here. That's complete. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A first down throw from Mayfield. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Here's second and seven. Mayfield on play action. Finding Otten once more. Short completion, just four yards. And now we've got a third and three. Mayfield. And he is caught. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Going right side is White. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. 6-0 our score after one. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football. Second and 11 at the 41. As they've got it as we resume action. Mayfield's throw taken in by Evans here. 
It'll be a gain of five. And now third down and six to go. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans with an amazing diving catch. And the Buccaneers have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. And with the rules as touchy as they can be, it's so hard to complete a diving catch in the end zone. But he just did it pretty well. How about him getting his body, his hands, everything underneath and around the football without it hitting the ground and causing some doubt in the minds of the people who have to look at this and possibly review it. What a tremendous effort and a great catch. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And they take the lead here at 7-6. the touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game. The one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put it in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Now a throw here, hold in. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's gonna line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Ball spotted at the 45, here's second down and three. On the option to give to Swift here. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Throwing his hurts. it past the 30 almost to the 25 another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down well they obviously read man coverage their partner and he got downfield broke down the defender made him what think, do you mean by that Brooklyn? yeah he made him think he was going to run a different route 
Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. On first and 10, it's Swift. He'll take it inside the 25. Second down and eight. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this off to Swift. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. third down. Hurts. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate that feels pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. Now Hurt's going to keep it running left. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third down and 12. Hurt sets up to throw it. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Shaquille Barrett in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Mike Evans of the Tampa offense about to set up shop. Last drive, the touchdown, four catches. Really good. He was. They were not good on the other side trying to stop him. What do they need to do? Well, this is where the entire staff has to get involved because we always focus on the defensive coordinator. But he needs help from other people with their eyes and their expertise, and he needs to listen to them. And sometimes you just can't afford to wait on a drive and say, okay, let's get to the sidelines and start over. You need to find a way in the middle of that drive to start taking away what's hurting you. Yeah, in series adjustments, and how do you do that? Well, what you do is you listen to what everyone else is telling you, what they're seeing, the patterns that are developing, and maybe you just start running extra bodies to take away that particular player. On second down, they'll run with White. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Third down and six. Mayfield to throw it. Work in the middle. Field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as
as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run straight ahead here with White. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. They stay on the ground with White. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Mayfield off the play fake. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. They go play action. Mayfield. Across the formation, he finds Godwin. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now back to the ground game with White. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rashad White, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs have regained the lead. And certainly some credit there for that touchdown goes to the offensive line. They never get the credit they deserve in the stat sheet, but they are the reason that they got the point. Excellent job up front, clearing the way for the score. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And the lead is up to five. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. The way the game has changed a little bit is that defensive goals have changed in a big way. Nowadays, it's not so much stopping certain yardage or whatever, but it's not giving up big, explosive plays. Anything over 10 yards, you're trying to hold teams below that. When they get one against you, as we just saw there, boy, that really hurts them. It puts them back on their heels a little bit. It makes them a little bit less confident. Quick slam here to Smith. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield. 
for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now a deep blow there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, but now it'll be third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job seat. He got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Hurts his throw brought in by Brown. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. Complete to Zacchaeus. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. At the 19-yard line. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go with this first half. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far, even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Buccaneers are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Well, Rashad White and the rest of this Tampa Bay offense going back to work now. So he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, they've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running game. I was game. just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. So we've come to halftime in a five-point game. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the running back, Rashad White. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far.
Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. On the return, here's Tompkins. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll start here with a handoff to White. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. From the 23, here's second and six. Here's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Play fake. Mayfield. And that is incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And take it right on the 30. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Second and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. on the pick up there and it keeps the drive alive. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubted for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. But first down, Hurts. Zaki is here holding it in. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. Smith catches left side. Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles have retaken a third quarter lead. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. 
Eagles offense staying out there. Of course, Hurts always a threat to run. They'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. The try for two is successful. And it pushes the lead up to a field goal. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Now second and five. Throwing, Mayfield. And his throw is incomplete. You know they wanted, you know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know, maybe there's something to that. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech. They have maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. To throw Mayfield. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they like some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Taken from just outside the 30. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's had a good third quarter. He likes whatever adjustments were made at halftime, whether those were team adjustments or just him talking to himself. And whatever that conversation was, it was pretty good because he is running really well the third quarter but I like to think it is a team adjustment offensive line those big escorts of his they figured out how to block a little bit better and he's found those holes to run through he has indeed first play of the drive a first down run well, that sets you up for whichever way you want to go do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels or do you play chess match with them break tendency and go play action and go for the big shot on oh, the option to give to Swift here. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Vita Vea stopped that play in its tracks. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly. And they were able to break it up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. Here's J.K. 
Zeke Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So making four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Opting to run again here with White. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. At that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Running out of the gun with White. Powers through. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Rashad White with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away now from moving out in front. And that run going to put him over 100 yards now for the ball game as well. Yeah, he's really had his way so far, and that's just more of the same right here. All he needs, just a little crease, and off he goes. McLaughlin for the extra point. And that one puts them on top here in the third. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. On second down, Swift. 
got some space. And now off to the races down the right side. DeAndre Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift. 74 yards. And the Eagles have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? A two-play drive. And what do we call that? Short-lived? Very. Because, very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone and back out in front. We always talk about drives, don't we? Does two plays count as a drive? Not really, but that second play was so good. I don't care what we call it. It was enjoyable to watch. And that is caught for the two points. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Offense heading back out, and with them comes Rashad White. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz, draw play is supposed to work very well. You're supposed to have them bypass the runner, and he slips past them. But they put their eyes in the right place, took away all the creases, and slowed him down in a big way. Now this one over the middle, into the hands of his tight end, complete. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. A first down throw from Mayfield. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. But it'll be second down. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Mayfield down. He completes it to Evans. So no gain on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards especially on third down yeah that one how about the defense figured that one out in a big way yeah they completed it all right and lost yardage so they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away and this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback DeAndre Swift and the Eagles back out there he's looking sharp here so far in the third quarter Charles it appears that the halftime gave him a little bounce. You know, came out, spring in his legs, a little pep in his step. And he's taken off and running really well in the third quarter. Sometimes we talk about how guys don't want halftime to come. <laughs> Some guys, they're happy when that break gets there. You never know which way it's going to go. He's taking advantage of it in this one, though. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. The second and ten now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. 
Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now in third and one. Hurts sets up to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and eight. Hurts. It's caught, Smith. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Hurd's going to keep it again. Pass the 20. And he's going to wind up getting this all the way down to the Buccaneers' 12-yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. They work now on second and nine. All the option left, it's Hurts. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down moving. Well, he's had success running the football on this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to him. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. So a big, big kick coming down for Jake Elliott. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Yeah. 
And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Mayfield. That's taken in by Palmer. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll go up the middle with White. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. First down Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. I'd sure love to offer some advice to the defensive coordinator, but his guys are just getting run over by an offense that's executing like a well-oiled machine. Mayfield now from the 50. That one going to be complete to David Moore. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. On first and 10, Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. Here's second and 10. They go play action, Mayfield. That's gonna be caught. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Cade Otten, 26 yards. And the Bucs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. That time, a six-play drive. And Kate Otten capped things off with a touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Throwing his hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Holding offense. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Back to throw here. His throw incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Play action. Here's Hurts. down defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. These are running back numbers that he's accumulated right now. Received double digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. They'll drop the throw. They'll try and set up the screen to swim. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 43. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game. First and ten here. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that will bring up second down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? All the option to give to Swift here. Some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. 153 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, it's Hurts. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Back to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 21 yards. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the boat of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Here's Swift. 
And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, this game's over. And a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This is a big play, third and goal. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown. DeAndre Swift. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So Mayfield and the Bucks down by 10, 2.24 to go. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. That's completed right side to Palmer. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Here's second down and three. Now Mayfield. That's complete to Otten. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Mayfield. He finds his target, it's Evans. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Here's first down. Mayfield the throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play call, because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Here's Baker. He completes it right side to White. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. They'll come up now, second and nine. Now Mayfield. Now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts.
Here now, third down. Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. And this one is no good. He missed it. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got plenty to catch. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. And that one will go down in the books as just a one-play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Down to an ego's hurts, and that is going to be that. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half. 